Hello everybody, my name is Brent Johnson and I'm with Heartfeel Automation. Last week we finished up our settings and the configuration view. This week we're actually going to talk about the OPCUA variables and how we set that stuff. And then we're actually going to finish the project. It's going to be really exciting. So let's hop into it. All right, let's go over to our logical view and we're going to add that program. So let's go ahead and click on, make sure you're highlighted over my first map view. Just like we've done before, go ahead and click on my on program and we're going to do an ST program. Go ahead and just double click it. Then let's go down here and let's create a couple of variables. Go ahead and just double click on the, the variables and let's add our first variable as speed. And we're going to make that an integer, so an INT. And then let's go ahead and add another variable and we're going to make this temperature. And we're going to have this be a real just like that. Go ahead and click save all and then close right out of there. And then let's go into our, our initialization part of this program and let's insert a basic program. We're just going to set those variables. So let's start with speed. Just all you need to do is do SP and then hold the control button and hit space bar and it automatically populates it. We're going to set that equal to, so it's a colon, whoops, a colon and an equal sign and we're going to set that to 30 and then a semicolon and then we're going to do temperature and you can automatically populate by holding the control button and then hitting the space bar and then we're going to do a colon and an equal sign and we're going to set that to 20 and then do a semicolon and that's all we need to do right now for this program so go ahead and hit save all and then we can close out of there so we created the program with the variables that we want to use for our visualization. Next, let's go ahead and click on the configuration view, and then let's go to connectivity, and then highlight over OPC UA right here, and we're going to add this OPC UA, UA default view. So go ahead and just double click on it, and then that opens this up right here. So then next what we do is we want to just double click this to open it, and then what we're going to do is we're going to go over to, the, to this, and we want to enable this tag, and then we want to enable speed and we want to enable temperature. Next, what we want to do is on the temperature, we want to just go over to the toolbox here. So we're in the properties before and go over to the toolbox while you're over temperature. And we want to put this as degrees Celsius. So go ahead and go over to where it's degrees Celsius and just double click on that and then go ahead and hit save all. And then we can close out of there. Now let's go back to our logical view. The first page we want to open up is page one content. So go ahead and double click on page one content. And then we're gonna, what we're gonna do is we wanna highlight over this gauge. And then we're gonna click on the properties tab for this gauge. And we're gonna go down to the data and we're gonna click on value, just a little drop down arrow on value. And then we wanna click on binding. Go ahead and hit the three dots. And then what we want to do is we want to go to speed and open that up by having it exploding it by hitting the plus sign and then highlight over value and then click on read only and then uncheck this box content related. When you do that, it will the binding underscore zero will pop in there. That's what we want it to do. Go ahead and hit OK. And then you'll see it automatically adds this OPC UA, OPC UA address here. That's exactly what we want to see. Go ahead and hit save all and then close out of there. And then let's go to page two content and do the same thing. So go ahead and double click on page two content and then highlight over temperature or the temperature, the, the numeric output. Just make sure you're highlighted over it. Make sure you're in the properties tab and then what we want to do is we want to go to the do the same thing. We want to go to data and then hit this value arrow right here and then go to binding and click on the three dots. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to actually just highlight the entire temperature. We're going to have this read and write and then we're going to uncheck this content related and it's going to change it to binding underscore zero. Go ahead and hit OK and then you can hit save all. 
All right, after we've set this value, we want to do one more thing with this widget. We want to go up to the appearance and we want to go to the unit. Click on this little arrow here to explode that. And then we want to click in the white area next to default. Go ahead and hit the three dots. And what we want to do is we want to put CEL in here for Celsius and then check this inherit to other and then go ahead and click OK. And then this is going to make it so it's degrees Celsius. That's all we need to do there. Go ahead and hit save all. And one last step that I, it's a critical step that I forgot to mention is we need to go to the configuration view and under the CPU, or sorry, we need to go to physical view and under the CPU, we need to go to the configuration view and we need to go down here to the OPC UA system. We need to explode that. And what we need to do is we need to activate this. Right now it's off. If it's not on, it's not going to work, all this OPC UA stuff that we did. So go ahead and click on. And then we can leave the port number the same. Just go ahead and hit save all. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and close this. And we should be good to go. Let's go ahead and transfer the project on down. Make sure we're in run mode and connected with our controller and then hit transfer. Now we can go and we can open up a browser now that it's transferred on the controller. And what we want to do is just open up Google Chrome. And then what we're going to do is we're going to type in the IP address and then a few other things here. So 192.168.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.0.